Hi, my name is Benjamin Musser. I'm a residential realtor in Northern Virginia, and I would like to thank you for watching my vlog, Towns Apart, the local at heart. Hi, I'm Pablo Teodoro. I'm the owner of Great Harvest Bread Company here in Warrington, Virginia. You know, I've always had a passion for uh, great food and uh, prior to opening Great Harvest, I dabbled in, uh, in sustainable farming. I raised dairy goats and chickens and some produce, started a farmer's market, and the bakery was really uh, an extension of that. I wanted to express my food values um, through, through our bakery, where we mill our own flour and make healthy, uh, delicious whole grain breads. Whole grain means that we use the entire wheat berry um, in our flour, the, the germ, the bran, and the endosperm. Um, white flour uh, is just the endosperm. It's just uh, the, 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 the biggest part of the, of the, uh, the wheat berry, but also the least nutritious. Um, the, the, the wheat bran and the wheat germ are the most nutritious uh, and fiberful parts of, of, of the wheat berry. So we use those. But, you know, when I was a kid, um, wheat bread at the grocery store was uh, a form of torture. Um, we at Great Harvest have made whole wheat bread taste delicious, something that you want to eat. Um, and we're using the entire wheat berry, whole wheat, full of nutrition, full of flavor. I'm fascinated by stories where uh, wheat or another grain uh, is found in a, uh, possibly even an extinct grain is found in an Egyptian tomb, 4,000 years old. and it's removed from the tomb and placed in a little bit of soil with some water and some sunlight and it sprouts. What a miracle! Um, what's amazing is that that little grain has potential life energy in it that remains dormant until it's provided what it needs to grow. How that relates to what we do when we, when we grind our wheat into fresh flour, that flour contains those same life-giving nutrients. Ironically, in three weeks of being exposed as flour, the nutritional qualities of that flour are basically gone. They've diminished to the point where the flour is nutritionally inert. Think about what that means. It means that every time you go to the grocery store and you buy bread or any other kind of uh, uh, baked good, that had any kind of flour, whether it's wheat flour, any other kind of flour, most likely that flour is weeks to months old and it has lost all of its natural, um, abundant nutritional value and qualities, including its ability to help you digest it. In other words, our wheat comes with its own digestive package. It comes with active dig uh, digestive enzymes, like an app, like any other fresh food. When you purchase our breads, uh, and when you purchase any other local, locally grown, locally produced foods, most of these foods are gonna be not only full of flavor, but they are going to help your body digest properly. You know, uh, 
telling you what my favorite bread is is uh, is is tough. I love, I honestly love all of our breads. Um, the truth is, if I don't love it, we're probably not going to make it. But if I had to choose, um, I, uh, I, the the very top would probably be our sourdough bread. I, I love sourdough and I love our sourdough. Uh, once a year, once a year during uh, the Saint. Patrick's Day uh, holiday uh, for about a month. We make Irish soda bread, another wonderful favorite of mine. And then uh, most of the time at home, I have a loaf of uh, Dakota bread. Is this not the sexiest bread you've ever seen? This is some um, beautiful bread. This is our Dakota bread, and it is full of pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, and millet, along with our basic five ingredients, water, salt, yeast, honey, and flour. And again, that's fresh milled flour. Great Harvest Bread Company might make you think that all we serve is bread. Not true. That is definitely our, uh, our keystone product. However, uh, we sell all kinds of desserts, cookies and bars and brownies and uh, scones and muffins. Um, and we make phenomenal, bodacious sandwiches. Uh, and on top of that, to wash it all down, uh, we serve a full espresso bar, lattes, cappuccinos, macchiatos. Um, we make our own uh, flavored sodas, Italian style sodas, um, as well as iced tea and uh, assorted cold drinks. The fourth line of our mission statement is give generously. Um, the heart of our giving among uh, the other donations to local charities um, is through the local food banks and food pantries. We give almost every day to the Fauquier Food Bank and the Rappahannock Food Pantry as well as local retirement homes. I fell in love with Warrington uh, the minute I rolled in uh, to Old Town, drove into Old Town and I knew that this is, the truth is, not many people know this, but we had about 15 potential sites for our bakery and we looked at all 14 and then came to Warrington and I knew the minute I drove up Main Street that this is where I wanted the bakery to be. I was just hoping that you know everything would come together uh, to make that happen and it did. Um, the best part about Warrenton is small town life. Um, uh, w you know things operate at a, uh, a comfortable pace. Um, uh, folks around here are uh, considerate of each other, there's kindness. I think we have a community that um, when things get tough, we come together and I love that. And I love being at the center of that. I love being a big uh, part of the connectivity um, of our wonderful growing little community.